you decided yesterday to come are really expensive. So, uh, you know, it's not like it's in Brooklyn. You hop in your car, you drive two and a half, three hours, and you're there. Yeah. So it's understandable that more VCU people would make it here than uh, Rhode Island people. But that's going to be a, a factor in the game. Well, it certainly is. Uh, VCU, it's a campus that has, they got 32,000 students at VCU. So a lot of them have made the trip. It's only a five-hour trip from Richmond, Virginia to uh, Pittsburgh, whereas it's close to 10 hours uh, from Rhode Island here to Pittsburgh. But, you know, when they introduced... Uh, the teams were lined up, and they introduced the University of Rhode Island. Rhode Island fans uh, cheered and everything. And then when they introduced uh, VCU, there was uh, three-quarters of the arena cheered. And I could hear Dan Hurley tell his kids, that's what we want. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. And that's more incentive for these guys to come out and uh, play their best basketball. Yeah, you know what? They're playing their best basketball now. We've watched you know, most of the games in this tournament, whether here or back at the hotel room. They are playing the best basketball, Rhode Island. I, I know the opponents haven't been what you expected. They didn't see Dayton in the second round, but St. Bonaventure is no slouch. That's the fifth seed in the in the league, and they're every bit as good as the fourth and third seed with Rhode Island and, and Richmond. Uh, they're, they're a tough customer. Rhode Island handled them easily, and then uh, Davidson Rhode Island basically blew them out of the gym. Rhode Island is playing at a whole different level than they were even the last time these two teams got together. That was a good game for Rhode Island, but uh, they're consistently putting out big time defensive efforts and uh, you know what they're the best team in this tournament as far as who's playing well in Pittsburgh yeah and I think uh, Dan Hurley's going to be very happy with the way everybody's playing and I think he has a lot of confidence you know beyond the five starters you know at the beginning of the year he didn't have a lot of confidence didn't know where you know players fit in but he certainly knows where Jeff Doughton fits in now he knows where Stanford Robinson fits in he knows where Cyril Langevin you know, fits in when he comes into the game. So it's not a, a five-man team now. It goes as deep as uh, nine, almost uh, ten men. And uh, that's what's uh, made them so successful on this, uh, you know, seven uh, wins in a row to end the season. Uh, they ended the season on a high note, and that's something that I think the committee would have to look at also. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, I couldn't imagine the NCAA tournament taking place without this team in blue in them because they're playing great right now. They deserve to be in the NCAA tournament. They've de they've done what they've needed to do since that loss to Fordham, run the table, and uh, they're sitting here with one more game to go, standing between a certainty of uh, playing on Thursday or Friday as opposed to if they lose, it'll be a uh, question as to whether they get in, and if they get in, it'll be off the Dayton for the, uh, for the first four. For certain, that would be where they would land. So, uh, oh, what a what a nerve-wracking day this is indeed. I saw uh -huh. Thorpe Bjorn this morning in the lobby. You and I were in the lobby waiting for the bus to uh, to pull up to get ready to head over here. Thor looked like uh, he got about 13 minutes sleep last night. He, uh, a lot riding for him on the line, too, as far as the athletic department. There's a lot of money to be made when you get to the NCAA tournament. You know, big dollars per round for the first couple of rounds. So, you know, it's, 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 you know on one thing, it's, it's the heart. And on the other side, it's business, too, Don. And there's a lot on the table right now on both. Well, he's had the unfortunate situation where he's had to deal with his entire staff. They had a long meeting last night for two hours because there's so many scenarios, you know, with the impending Nor'easter coming. Yep. You know, how do we get out if we're going to have to play at Dayton, Ohio? You know, with the Nor'easter coming, if we get assigned to, you know, play down in the south somewhere, you know, how do we get there? And, you know, do we get in? Uh, you know, are we going to be in the play-in game? There's so many different scenarios that... Uh, Thor and his staff have tried to cover each one, but it's been a, a tough, tough situation for him and his uh, staff. Heard of that they're one of the last teams in, but they, you know, maybe because of the, I mean, it's a blizzard that's coming. It's 12 to 18 inches of snow in the New England area from what uh, the last forecast that I saw had. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that affects where the committee sends people, whether they say, hey, we're going to keep Rhode Island and send them to Buffalo because we think we can bust them to Buffalo, you know, on uh, Thursday for a Friday game or Wednesday for a, a Friday game. And it's, it's hard to say uh, what runs through their minds and whether geography has to become a factor because of the weather and getting people from point A to point B. Hey, you know what? Let's go win this game. Yeah, win this game and you eliminate a lot of questions. Yeah, and they'll tell us where to go and we will happily, happily go there. A little nervous, Don? No, no. I'm not, I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I'm not nervous. This is good. This is you know, a I just one. I just want Rhode Island to get off to a good start. You know, uh, you get off to a good start. Karan Iverson got his first foul a minute and 30 seconds into the game. You know, you can't afford to have something like that happen. So right yeah. now the players are just kind of standing around, standing around, waiting for the TV to get clearance. You know, uh, the referee to put the jump ball up. Son Martin Sr., Karan Iverson Sr., they know that this is their last trip around the block. And it looked at some points during the season like Rhode Island was not going to get them to, to the promised land, to the NCAA tournament. And they made a mad rush at the end to get there, and now uh, Rhode Island is one step away. Martin on the jump with Mo Ali Cox. It is won by Rhode Island. It goes to Karan Iverson, but it goes off his hands. It'll be VCU basketball. He got a hand on it, but never really got a chance to gather it in. Yeah, referee didn't throw that one very high, Steve. No, he uh, Mo Ali Cox got it on the way up, too. And, uh... Should be a, a violation. Jump. Yeah, yeah uh, Jaquan Lewis with the ball right now over the timeline. He's got Jeff Doughton on him. Doughton, an excellent defender for Allen. Tillman takes it from Jaquan, moves it over to the right side to Brooks, and Brooks is uh, travel. Wow, looks like it's going to be a foul on Hassan Martin, who came up on the hedge. But instead, they call the travel call on Brooks, and the turnover gives the ball back to Rhode Island. Yeah, we'll take it. It yeah. makes up a lousy uh, tap uh, jump ball. <laughs> that that would have been, I mean, foul number one on the Sun right there would have been a tough one. Terrell on the wing on the left side of the floor. Jared brings it back to the middle, goes over to Jeff Dowden. Back out to Jared. Jared had nine points yesterday over to EC. Shot for three. Picking up where he left off. Four for four from three. Yesterday, EC Matthews drops his first one down today. Uh, that was his own defense that time by VCU. Rhode Island worked the ball very well against its zone, finding EC open on the left side. Jaquan Lewis gives it up uh, at the top of the key to Burgess. Burgess rolls it back to Lewis. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Will Wade has to say, do I play you or I like they shot yesterday from three or like they've been shooting all year from three? Jaquan Lewis into the lane, flips it up, no good. Rebound, tracked down by Mo Ali Cox, has it deflected. It goes to Tillman. He puts a reverse layup up and in. Yeah, Rhode Island unable to get the uh, rebound that time. Second chance opportunity for VCU and they cash in on it. Matthews brings it over the timeline to Jared Terrell. Dave Cox said it in the pregame. Associate head coach for Rhode Island. He said, uh, I told the guys, the game starts when the ball goes up in the air, when shots are taken. It's got to be a rebounding matchup here. Down low on the high-low pass to Hassan Martin. It's good from Karan Iverson. Rhode Island's been working that all weekend, and uh, it has been very, very fruitful for him. Well, it was the 1-3-1 one, one zone, and that time they found Hassan down low. He had uh, Burgess at 6-5 on him. 5-2, Rhode Island ahead by three early going. Left side of the floor, it's Doug Brooks with the ball. Brooks brings it to the middle of the floor now. Dumps it to Mo Ali Cox mid post. He's one on one with Hassan Martin. Cox more of a defender than a scorer. Gives it up. Driving to the basket as Burgess lays it up no good. The rebound tipped around. Finally goes to Rhode Island. Into the hands of Jeff Doughton. Doughton kicks it out to Jared. Shot for three. Got it. Rolls around the rim and pops in. Rody two for two from three point range. After going 60%, 12 of 20 yesterday. They are back at it. Up eight to two early going. Lewis on the right side, Jeff Doughton on him. Lewis cuts through two defenders, kicks to the corner. Driving baseline, putting it up, block shot. Burgess tried to take it. Rhode Island knocked it away. Karan Iverson getting a piece over to Jared Terrell. Shoots for three off the dribble now. Rebound into the hands of Jaquan Lewis. A little bit too early there. Yeah, exactly, Steve. Lewis top of the key, gets in the lane. Lewis flips it up over Hassan Martin. He blocks it off the backboard. Mo Ali Cox picks up the rebound and puts it home. Yeah, Cox is a force, you know, 6'7", uh, 255 pounds. Uh, you got to put a body on him. That time nobody put a body on him. He just went down the lane and put the missed shot back in. 8-4, Rhode Island leading by four. High post to Karan. Nice strong move to the basket on Mo Alley. Kicks it out to the wing now. All the way out top now to Jeff Dowden. He kicks it back out to EC, who measures for three but doesn't shoot. Goes over to Jared Terrell. Stops, pops a two-pointer, two and that goes down from about 15 feet out. Jared Terrell looking good early going. He's got five points. Rhode Island's ahead by six, 10 to four. They are a juggernaut in this tournament. Rhode Island off to the races again early on. Nice pass down low to Tillman. Turn around, jump hook, no good. Rebound, Mo Ali Cox back up, rattles around the rim and out. Karan Iverson pulls it down. Ali Cox and Tillman, 59% for Tillman from the floor, 57% for Mo Ali Cox, both top five field goal percentage. Tillman at three and Cox at five. All right, Rhode Island with the lead, 10 to four, and the ball. Jeff Dowden has it at the top of the key. Goes to Karan Iverson, man-to-man -man defense this time. To the left side to Jared Terrell. Terrell holds it there, gets it down to Hassan Martin, one-on-one -on -one with Mo Ali Cox. Takes the jumper, back of the rim now. Rebound, Jaquan Lewis. 
He breaks it out for VCU, gets fouled by Jeff Doughton coming down the floor. Not much of a foul that time. Uh, Jeff Doughton just you know, right with uh, Lewis as Lewis is dribbling up the court, and all of a sudden it looked like Lewis might have leaned in with his right arm, but they call the foul on Doughton. That's going to be his first. Subs for VCU. Mo Ali Cox coming out. Burgess coming out as well. Yeah, Cox plays short spurts. Doesn't play more than three or four minutes, but he's got the four points in the short period that he was in there. Hamdy in the, in the game and Doughty in the game as well. Doughty had a big day, 17 points yesterday. Right side of the floor, Lewis gets it up top to Doughty. Doughty tries to drive the lane, high off the glass, no good. The rebound on the weak side, battle for Tillman and E.C. Matthews. Matthews wins the battle. E.C. already dribbled, so he needs some help. Karan Iverson comes up to help him get it over the timeline. Karan's going all the way to the basket, flipping it up off the backboard, off the base of the rim, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Hamdy, and he gets it over to Jaquan Lewis. Lewis in the lane, flips it out top to Brooks, up top to Lewis, shoots for three over Doughton, front rim, no. Rebound Tillman, and Tillman's going to get guilty of the push-off there. Yeah, well, they're going to call it the other way, I think. No. Boy, you could see him just... Yeah. Push his arms right into I think it was Hassan Pushed Martin. up, but it's going to be on Hassan or Quran. All right, we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Rudy looking good right now, up 10 to 4 in the early going. You're listening to URI Basketball, the Atlantic 10 Championships from Learfield. But Rhode Island shooting 4 of 7, 2 of 3 from 3. They lead this game 10 to 4, four and a half minutes into the game with VCU. VCU done 2 of 11. You take two things away from that. They've only made 2 of 11 shots, but they've taken four more shots in Rhode Island. Yeah, and uh, those are both offensive rebounds, too, that uh, you know they've gotten that have resulted in those uh, two baskets that they've uh, made. So Rhode Island, they're going to have to do a little bit better job on the defensive uh, glass. You know, height-wise, they match up uh, well with them. It's just that... VCU has much, much stronger players. And uh, right now with uh, Muhammad in the game, they go to 6'9", 240-pound center. Just about set to go here. VCU has broken their huddle and coming out. Johnson is in the ball game now for VCU. Joining Hamby and Dowdy as the subs in this game. And they keep Jaquan Lewis and Tillman in there. Tillman is a, you know, Jay Con Lewis, you hear a lot about him, but Tillman's really the X factor on this team. 13 points, 8 rebounds, third team all 8 10. He's a, he's a very, very accomplished player. Inbounds pass for VCU comes to Williams. Williams holds it on the wing on the right side of the floor to Jay Con Lewis. Into the corner now. They dump it down to Tillman. Tillman puts it up, gets foul, no call. Karan Iverson looks like he got a good piece of him. Basket does not go in. Karan comes down with a rebound and gets it to EC. Over the timeline, it goes to Jeff Dowden. Dowden holds it there. It goes. High post with it to Hassan Martin. Back over to Iverson. Iverson swings it to Jared Terrell. Man-to-man -man defense for VCU. Out top, Doughton. Doughton swings it over to Karan. He's going to shoot it from three. Got it. <laughs> uh, they're shooting the three-point shots. The light's out. Uh, three of four for an island from three-point range after going 12 of 20 in yesterday's game. What do you do if you're trying to guard them? You wait for that to run out, get back to normal numbers, or maybe it won't. Jump shot from the baseline by Hamdy doesn't go. Rebound tipped out of bounds. It's going to be VCU basketball. Yeah, Hamdy that time went up with a jump hook and uh, didn't hit anything. Went right over the rim. Kind of surprised. E.C. Matthews went right in his hands before he could control the ball. He lost it out of bounds. So it'll be he didn't have possession of it. So it's going to be 15 seconds left on the shot clock. VCU with the ball out under their own basket. Nine-point lead for Allen. 13-4 to four early going here. VCU. Struggling to score. Williams at the top of the key. And that's been the calling card. I mean, all these threes are great for an island, but they have been a lockdown defensive team lately, and that's why this streak is happening. Driving the lane, putting it up is Dowdy. Can't get it to go. Rebound by E.C. Matthews. Matthews is going to bring it out for Rhode Island. Top of the key for Matthews. Splits two defenders. Goes to the hoop. Lays it up and in. Oh, great play by E.C. Went down the lane. Switched the ball over to his right hand and somehow was able to make that scoop shot. Great start for Rody, 11-point lead. Six minutes into the ball game. Left side of the floor. Lewis shakes his defender, shoots for two, and knocks it down. Uh, that's the one guy you really got to pay attention to. Stanford Robinson's in the game now, Steve. He can't help out on any. In the backcourt, Jared Terrell has the ball, has it poked loose. Jaquan Lewis gets it down to Dowdy, puts it up, gets fouled. He'll go to the line for a couple. Dowdy 
from the free throw line, 77%. Looked like a, an in one opportunity there. He was underneath. Jared fouled him, but he had a clear look at the basket, not able to put it home. Yeah, Lewis did a good job going down the lane. Looked like he was going to take the layup. All of a sudden, he threw the ball behind his back to Doughty. Doughty went up, and uh, I think it was EC that got a piece of it, but he also got a piece of the body. So it sends Doughty to the foul line. 4-2 where he makes the first Doughty on the year. Pretty good foul shooter at 77%. 15-7 now is the score. Rhode Island still up by eight. Some subs on both sides. Durante uh, Jenkins coming into the game. Ali Cox coming back in for VCU. For Rhode Island, uh, Cyril Langevin coming into the ball game and uh, also Jarvis Garrett coming in. Second one's a miss from the free throw line, but the rebound by VCU. Ali Cox comes up with it. Gets it to Williams, over to Lewis. Lewis in the lane to Ali Cox. Goes up and a held ball. Held ball to Cyril Langevin and uh, Mo Ali Cox. And Rhode Island did not win the jump, so the first held ball arrow is pointing in their favor, so Rhode Island will get the ball back. Yeah, Rhode Island with a lot of substitutions kind of early on here, Steve. Uh, you get uh, E.C. Matthews, the only starter on the floor right now for Rhode Island. Jarvis Garrett in there along with Stan Robinson. Nicola Kelly just came in and Cyril Langevin in there as well. E.C. coming off a screen by Cyril but slipping through it was Brooks and staying with him. Jarvis Garrett takes a hard hit by Lewis trying to get a reversal on the basketball. We'll get a foul on the floor. It's going to be against Lewis. He was bumping and grinding on Jarvis all the way through. Yeah, Jarvis did a good job, you know, controlling the basketball. He started to go down the lane, and uh, Lewis gave him a pretty good uh, bump right in front of the official to call the foul. Lewis is going to get his first break of the night as he comes out of the game. 13 15 left in the first half of play. Rhode Island 15, VCU 7. Great start to this game for Rhodey. Baseline out of bounds for Rhode Island. Nothing doing around the basket. They get it out to E.C. Matthews over to Stan Robinson. Robinson on the wing. Looks like he wants to shoot. Gets it out to E.C. Shot for three. Ho, 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 ho. Tell you what. He's playing better than anybody in this tournament. Anybody. That's anybody a long, at all. That was an NBA three-pointer. That wasn't a college three-pointer. That Williams, thing was way out there. Williams gets into the lane. Kicks out to the wing. Brooks for three. He gets him right back. So the lead now for Allen back to eight at 18 to 10. Good uh, dribble penetration and kick that time. Jarvis Garrett brings the ball up the floor with a Kelly at the high post for Allen. Robinson and Matthews at the two wing positions. Garrett just over the midcourt line. He's got Jonathan Williams to deal with. Gets underneath the basket, looks to dump it down low. Does so to Cyril, puts it up, can't get it to go. Loose ball picked up by VCU. Jenkins has it. Gets it over to Williams. Jonathan Williams gets in the lane. Nose for the basket. Flips it off the rim. No good. Rebound Mole Alley Cox. Puts it back up. Can't get it to go. EC the rebound over to Garrett. Jarvis on the run for Rhode Island. Jarvis in the lane. Kicks out on the wing. Robinson for three. Got it to go. Rhodey just shooting like layups from three-point range. 21 to 10. They lead it by 11. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It right? really is. It really is. They're now five of six from three-point line. After going 12 of 20 yesterday. Man, oh, man. And shooting, uh, I might add, 33%, 12 out of 14 teams in the league throughout the year. Right side of the floor, Jenkins gets a head on uh, a Kelly, goes to the basket, reverse layup, no good. Rebound EC Matthews. VCU's gone cold on layups. Matthews is fouled by Williams as he tries to take the ball away, coming over midcourt. Everything going Rhode Island's way right now, 21 to 10, and most of it because of uh, their own doing. They're just playing hard on the defensive end and taking advantage of open jumpers. All the jumpers that they've taken, all the three-pointers they've taken have been uh, high-quality, wide-open jumpers. Time out on the floor, except for maybe Jared Terrell's one off the dribble coming up uh, in the early part of the offense. We've got a time out on the floor. We'll take one as well from Learfield. It's URI basketball, the Atlantic 10 championship. This one, Don, is is just phenomenal. Rhode Island leading it 21 to 10. We are just uh, not even, uh, just a little more than eight minutes into the game. Rhode Island shooting eight of 12 from the field and five of six from three. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that. I thought they were red hot in the game against uh, Davidson, but uh, they came out and they've really you know, lit it up here so far. And the defense has uh, done a good job against VCU. VCU only four of 20 from the field. 
to just uh, 20%, and it's a team that takes like 17 three-pointers. They're only one of two from uh, three-point land. So the Ryland defense has been, you know, consistent as it was yesterday, and the offense has picked up where it left off yesterday. So things are going well for Rhode Island early on here. They're, they're missing a lot of bunnies, VCU, underneath, and uh, I contend that that's probably because Rhode Island's got two of the top three shot blockers in the league in uh, San Martin and Coron Iverson. So you get a, you know they're in the shadows somewhere when you're taking those easy buckets. Yeah, and a guy like Mo Alicox doesn't have a lot of lift, so he gets a rebound. He wants to get rid of it and take the shot real quick, and I think he's throwing up a little bit too quick this afternoon. Yeah, and he's not a great offensive player. He's a very, very good defensive player. Right side, they get it over to Akeli. Akeli moves it to Doughton. Doughton drives to the basket, puts it up. Goaltending, that's going to count. Got above the rim. It was on its way down before someone got a piece of it. So uh, that one goes in the books good as a Jeff. bucket for Jeff Down. Yeah, good to play. Just as I said, Moali Cox you know, doesn't have tremendous lift to go way above the rim that time to uh, goaltend that one. <laughs> 23 to 10, Rody by 13. We are not even nine minutes into the game. Unbelievable stuff. Williams with the ball. Jonathan Williams coming off the bench. Strong player, though. Goes to the hoop, pushes it off the glass. No good. Rebound Hassan. Kicks out to Stan. Stan's on the move. Stan does not have the numbers. Takes it in the lane. Draws some contact. He'll get to the line for two. Yeah, Robinson that time went down the lane. Two defenders right there. He was able to split them as he went down the lane. He is left-handed. He moved the ball over to his right hand. Tried to throw up the running one-hander. It came off the side of the rim. But uh, Stanford will go to the foul line for two foul shots on the year. Robinson's a 60% free throw shooter. Stan has the ball. A couple of bounces in flight and right through the middle of the hoop. Stan Robinson uh, against VCU is 2 of 2 from the line. Yesterday was 0 for 1 in the Davidson game. It was 2 of 3 from the line in the St. Bonaventure game. And playing real well for Rhode Island. Hits both of these, and the lead expands to 25 to 10 now. 15-point lead for Rhode Island. Boy, I tell you, right out of the gates, right after this VCU team. Williams into the corner it goes. Driving is Dowdy. Dowdy gets in the lane. Ball goes up. Blocked as a hell ball again. And this one's going to favor VCU, but Rhode Island not allowing any easy shots. Uh, that time Hassan Martin came over and Doughty uh, was penetrating into the paint. He came over with his left hand and as he tried to release the ball, he just jammed it back in Doughty's hand, causing the jump ball. BCU, the experienced team, it comes out to Tillman, out to Lewis. Tillman and Lewis and five others participated in the uh, Atlantic 10 championship and won it two years ago. Lewis coming off the screen. Going to fire up a three. Front rim, no. Rebound, Dowdy. Dowdy going up strong on Karan Iverson. Puts it up and in. Yeah, that time, uh, a tough shot made from uh, the outside uh, by Jaquan Lewis. He kind of just threw it up, hoping somebody would get the rebound. And VCU did get the rebound and put it back in. A lot of contact uh, around there. Good, uh, good officiating so far. Got a good crew. Letting the lot go. Down low, Iverson scoops it up and lays it in over Tillman. Rhode Island gets those two right back. We are midway through the first half of play. 27-12. Rhode Island up by 15. Splitting the gap of two defenders is Lewis. And uh, in doing so, he is fouled. That's going to be VCU ball out on the sideline. Yeah, it's going to be on Jarvis Garrett. The Jarvis that time, you know, reached in as uh, Lewis made the crossover move, committing the foul. Dowdy to put the ball in bounds. Gets it into Jaquan Lewis. Right back to Dowdy. Dowdy goes baseline with it and travels with the basketball. He turned. While he was picking up the ball to get to low post position, and he uh, backpedaled a little bit. Well, you know, VCU, very, very quick, very, very athletic team, Steve. But Rhode Island's defense is up to the challenge, and uh, that time Dowdy made a move that he can probably make nine out of ten times. All of a sudden, he finds a Rhode Island defender right in front of him, and it caused him to travel. Uh, Rhode Island is very well prepared and also uh, just playing great. I mean, they're athletic as well. Jared Terrell at the top of the key with the basketball. Moves it over to Hassan Martin. Back to Jared on the give and go as he makes his way through. We get a whistle and a grab against VCU. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be on Mo Ali Cox. That's uh, going to be just the uh, fourth uh, team foul on uh, VCU. So Ryan will get the ball out of bounds. But uh, coming out in the game. Cox comes out. Crowfield comes out. Brooks is back in and Hamby in as well for VCU. Rhode Island ball on the sideline. Jared Terrell to take it. 
Gets it inbounds to Karan Iverson. Works it to the right side now to Jeff Gowden. Out top to Jarvis Garrett. Garrett moves it to Iverson. Shoots for three. No. Rebound tipped around, and Brooks has it. Starts it out for VCU. They are down by 15 to Rhode Island with nine and a half minutes to play in the first half. Plenty of time, but uh, big mountain to climb for VCU. Brooks gets a pass to the lane. Puts it high off the glass. No. Tipped up. No. Hamdi had a shot out of bounds. We're down basketball. VCU, there is a lid on that basket for them. That's the fourth time they've had an easy uh, putback off of a missed shot, and that time Mohammed was right there, and he just uh, couldn't quite tip it back in. But now comes the full court, full court pressure by VCU. Inbounds comes to EC Matthews. Yeah, it's a 1 2 1 1 zone press. Jeff Dowden takes it from EC, and he's going to work it up the floor himself. Jeff gets over the timeline, works it back out top now. Gives it up to Koran Iverson and gets it back. So he has his dribble again. Over to Koran. Koran goes on the old backdoor pass. Inside to Hassan Martin who dunks it home. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a highlight film there. It looked like Terrell was going to take the jump shot from uh, foul line extended on the right. And all of a sudden, he dished it down to a cutting uh, Koran. Uh, yeah. Hassan Martin. Hassan Martin for the dunk. Brooks, three-pointer from the corner. It goes. Boy, they can't hit layups. So they can hit three-pointers. Brooks has a couple of those. 29-15, Rudy's lead at 14 now. Crowd on both sides getting into the game. Garrett Terrell gets it out to Jeff Dowden. National TV, and uh, they're seeing a good offensive explosion by Rhode Island, and uh, seeing the VCU start to heat up a little bit now, too. Karan Iverson has the ball at the elbow of the free throw line. Nice back door again. Layup, no good, but a foul call down low. Rhode Island passing very, very well. Hassan Martin going to get a shot at the free throw line. Karan really threaded the needle on that one and put it right where it needed to get. Yeah, he really did. And, uh, you know, good follow-up uh, that time uh, by Hassan Martin uh, trying to dunk the ball home. But uh, the foul was committed on Jared Terrell. Terrell will go to the foul line for VCU. That's their fourth team foul. Jared on the year, 75% from the free throw line. First one up, no good. Jared against uh, Davidson was one of three from the line, one of two from the line against St. Bonaventure. So Rody misses the first one. 8-17 remaining in this first half of play. Rhode Island from the line, two of three now. Next one on its way, that's good. So they pick up one, get the lead back to 15 at 30-15. to 15. Think about that. Eight minutes to go. VCU's got 15 points. They average 75 points a game. Lewis to the left side to Brooks. Brooks trying to go baseline. Working on his man, E.C. Matthews. Kicks it back out to the corner. Brooks gets it in the corner. Shoots it for three. It's an air ball. Loose ball picked up by VCU. Can they hang on to it? It's a scramble now. Everybody's on the floor underneath the basket trying to get this basketball. It should be a held ball, and if it is, it'll be Rhode Island's ball. And the referee coming over, the timeout sounded. And the uh, referee coming over to keep Rhode Island away from all the bodies that are on the floor in the paint trying to get to that basketball before it was tied up. Timeout on the floor, 7.55 remaining first half. Rhode Island 30, VCU 15. You're listening to URI Basketball, the Atlantic 10 Championship from Learfield. Alrighty, Steve McDonald, Hall of Famer Don Call with you as well. I want to thank Jim Marcello and uh, Mike Sawa back in the studio. Rhode Island down, uh, I mean, it's just an amazing display of basketball against Bonaventure, against Davidson in the first half here against CCU. Yeah, they have, and, uh, you know, they're shooting the lights out. Uh, hopefully they can keep it up uh, 11 of 16 from the field, including 5 of 7 from three-point land, but they're hustling all over the place. Every time there's a loose ball around the floor, now E.C. Matthews trying to bring the ball up court against Jacon Lewis. That's going to be a tough, tough task. Matthews has trouble. He gets it over the timeline and picks up the ball there and gives it to Karan Iverson and gets it back. Struggling, though, bringing it up against the smaller and quicker Daquan Lewis. Back to Karan at the elbow of the free throw line. Gets it out to Jeff Gowden. Seven seconds on the shot clock for it out. A lot of time taking the backcourt. Jeff makes his way to the basket. Free throw line jumper for him. No good. And the rebound controlled by Brooks. Brooks gets it over to Daquan Lewis. 30 to 15. Rhode Island ahead by 15. Brooks has it on the wing. Up top to Burgess. He shoots for three and gets it. 30 to 18 now. VCU within 12. Closest they've been in the last 
five or six minutes. Yeah, they've hit a couple of three-point shots lately. You cut that uh, Rhode Island lead down to 12. They're not very good three-point shooting team. Neither is Rhode Island. They're 10th in the league. Rhode Island's 12. You see Matthews up top to Karan Iverson, but Iverson and the Rams are hitting everything from three, especially that guy, E.C. Matthews. Matthews has it back to Karan, shot for three, no good. Rebound, though, by Langevin down low, loses the ball to Hamdi. Hamdi has it, tries to pass it from the floor, is on the ground. We have a held ball. That's the, what, fourth held ball we've had. This one going back to VCU. Yeah, Langevin did a good job uh, grabbing the rebound, Steve, but he brought it down. As soon as you bring that ball down, somebody's going to grab it, and uh, he brought it down, tried to go up with it, but he had it tied up. So uh, Hassan Martin coming back into the game, uh, replacing uh, Sorrell Langevin. So it's VCU basketball on the hell ball. I mean, it is just, these are the two biggest teams, like point guard to five, not necessarily with a big man, but just physically big and physically strong these two teams it's a heavyweight bout so they're on the floor a lot 30 to 18 I remind you what Dave Cox said he's right the ball hit takes flight that's when this game begins on different shots throughout the game Lewis has the ball dumps it down low to Hamby Hamby one-on-one -on -one with Hassan jump hook back of the rim no rebound Burgess pulls it down Burgess underneath with Hassan on the ground with another held ball this is gonna go URI's way it's a scrum it's a rugby game. Well, Karan Iverson uh, took a chance that time. Uh, he went diving on the floor right on top of the VCU play. Uh, you know, could have been easily his second personal foul, but he was able to tie it up. And uh, the alternate possession belongs to Rhode Island. But here comes that uh, press now from VCU. Rhode Island's going to do a good job uh, handling the basketball, bringing it up. Got to have a bonus for the little kids with the mops under the baskets because everybody's hitting the deck here. They, uh, they have been mopping away. Top of the key, Hassan Martin gets it over to Jared Terrell. Swings it to EC. EC to Terrell on the uh, give and go, but he's fouled as he tries to get the ball. The foul is going to be on Samir Doughty. Yeah, that's going to be a six-team foul, so there'll be no foul shots involved. It'll be Rhode Island's ball out of bounds under their own basket. Doughty comes out. Mo Ali Cox back in. They need him in there for the physicality. 30-18 to 18, Rhode Island leading by 12. Ball in their hands, too. Baseline out of bounds with a fresh shot clock, 30 seconds on that. 6.02 remaining in the first half of play. Rhodey looking for their first title since 1999. Inbounds pass into the backcourt to E.C. Matthews. He's bothered by Lewis, but he's able to keep the ball. He gets it to Robinson into the corner. Jared Terrell for three. No. Rebound tipped around out of bounds. Should be Rhodey ball. There it is. Yep, got to be. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, look, uh, Will Way is looking for Karan Iverson over the back, but a good shot that time in left-hand corner by Jared Terrell. And uh, UCU just couldn't grab, gather the basketball in. I think he had a pretty good case on Karan over the back. I think he did. <laughs> These officials, are they're letting a lot go. Jamie Lucky, Jeff Clark, Brian O'Connell, veteran crew. And uh, I like the style. I like this is a fun game to watch. They're letting stuff go, keep a flow of the game. Top of the key, it's uh, Stan Robinson. Zone defense for VCU. They go to Martin, shoots it for three. Back of the rim, no. Rebound handy. We're going to foul on Mo Ali Cox, who is keeping Karan Iverson away from the play. This is going to be free throws. This should be the seventh team foul. VCU crowd doesn't like it, but he clearly. Oh, he's holding on to yeah, him. Yeah. It's, it's like an offensive lineman, basically, yeah. taking him away from being able to get to the quarterback. In this game, Karan Iverson was trying to get to the basketball. Yeah, three quarters of the crowd are VCU fans, and uh, you can hear them. Uh, they're not very happy, but it was a good call by the official. It sends Iverson uh, to the foul line. Uh, Will Wade, very upset. Lucky he didn't get called for the technical foul. You know, he complained a lot in the, uh, the Richmond game. Boy, he was, you know, he looks like the, uh, the guy next door. First free throw goes down for Karan. He's got one more. Looks like the nicest guy in America, right? But he talks and talks and talks and talks with those refs yelling and screaming at him. Jarvis Garrett back in the game against this uh, pressure from uh, VCU. Karan misses the second one. Hassan Martin called for the foul over the back on Handy as he pulls in the rebound off the missed free throw. And you got to think that influenced a little bit by the crowd here. Yeah, Rhode Island came away with just uh, one point on those two foul shots. Uh, Hassan Martin picks up just his first personal foul. All right, 13-point lead for Rhode Island, 31 to 18. 5:24 to go in the first half of play. Williams with the basketball gets to Jaquan Lewis. Lewis kicks to the corner, back out to Williams. Williams gets in the paint, gets it back out to Brooks. Measures, shoots back of the Renault. Rebound, Hamdi goes up, gets fouled by Karan. 
Yeah, Rhode Island's having a tough time on their defensive boards. The uh, shots aren't falling for VCU. They're taking some tough shots, and uh, they're getting some crazy rebounds. You know, normally a guy takes a shot, it might fall off the front of the rim. These balls are going all over the place, and that time uh, it went right into the hands of the VCU player, and as he went up, uh, Iverson committed his second personal foul, so he'll go to the bench for the last five minutes and ten seconds of the first half. First one by Handy is good from the line. It's a 62% free throw shooter. Rhode Island is number one in the league in offensive rebounding. They get 12 a game. VCU is seventh in the league, but they're at 11 a game, so it's not much of a difference, and they've been hitting the offensive boards really, really hard. Rhode Island hasn't had to. They don't miss a lot of shots, So, uh, but uh, VCU is getting those offensive boards. Second free throw is good. 31-20, to 11-point lead now for Rhode Island. Robinson has it on the left wing, gets to the free throw line, shoots a two-pointer, back to the rim, no, and the rebound, Handy. Gives it off to Lewis. A little run by VCU here. Lewis keeps it himself all the way. Then he dumps it down low. Shot, foul, no basket. Bird just going to go to the free throw line. That's yeah, going to be the second foul on uh, Karan Ivers. I mean, on uh, Hassan Martin as well. So Rhode Island in a bit of a bind here with their two big guys in foul trouble. Hassan Martin's going to have to go to the bench. Nicole Kelly will be coming in. So the tide has changed over the last couple of minutes. And VCU taking advantage of a few... Rhode Island misses. Rhode Island now down to 52% from the field and 50% from three. Five of ten. Free throw by Burgess is good. Burgess from the free throw line on the year, just 45%. But he makes the first one, 31-21. Now the lead is at 10. What was the highest Rhode Island? 16? 17. Rhode 17. Island was up 17, 29 to 12. So it's uh, been a 9 to 2 run by VCU. Burgess misses the second one. It rattles around the rim and pops out. So 45%, 1 of 2. That's about right. Under five minutes to play first half. Rhode Island leading at 31 21. Jarvis Garrett with the basketball. Williams guarding him. He's a tough, tough defensive player. Real tough. That's that James Harden beard. Over to E.C. Matthews. Shot for three. Yup. <laughs> when you need it, you just dial up E.C. Matthews. And he'll drop one down from three. So far today, he is three of three from three-point range. Yesterday, four of four. That's uh, pretty darn near perfect. Jaquan Lewis on the left side. Oh, man, is he on fire. If Rhode Island wins, he's the player of the, of the tournament. Maybe even if they don't. Inside it goes to Williams. Williams, strong move on the up and under. Gets it to go for the layup. 34-23, 11-point lead for Rhode Island. Hey, Williams is only 6-1, but he got in the paint that time. Gave a head fake to EC. EC went right by him, and Williams ended up with the easy layup. Jarvis Garrett over the timeline. Williams hounding him right at the midcourt line. Man-to-man -man defense for VCU. Garrett takes it to the free throw line. Stops, pops, and hits. Boy, that's a, that's a big-time play on a very good defender. Yeah, they give Jarvis Garrett a lot of credit, you know, pulling up to take that jump shot. Normally he drives in and gets in trouble. Lewis gets by Garrett, puts it up, and rolls around the rim and pops out. No good and no foul call either. Lewis trying to draw some contact. He's shaking his head, going back the other way. I think half not happy with the non-call, and the other half saying, how can I get that ball to drop in? That thing was everywhere but in. Rolled around the rim a couple of times before it rolled out. Jarvis Garrett up top to a Kelly over to Jarvis. He fakes the three. Now he takes the three. Front rim, no. Rebound taken down by Brooks. 36-23. Rody by 13. It's Williams on the drive. Gives it out to Brooks. Brooks throws it into Hamdy. Hamdy fumbles the ball a little bit, then goes for reverse layup. Can't get it to go. We got a whistle and a foul, though. That reverse layup when there's traffic in there, most of the time going to get you to the free throw line because almost impossible not to create contact. Well, Rhode Island, got, uh, Rhode Island bigs are getting in trouble, Steve. Yeah. Uh, you get two of them on the bench for the rest of the half. Hassan Martin and Karan Iverson. Now, you know, Cyril Langevin just picks up his first personal foul. Timeout on the floor. Media timeout. Rhode Island by 13, 36-23. 2.55 remaining in this basketball game's first half. Got a while to go from Learfield, URI Basketball, the Atlanta 10 Championship. Time to look at the scoring leaders and rebounding leaders and such. Inside the numbers, powered by Builder Surplus, Donald. Well, E.C. Matthews has 11 points uh, for Rhode Island, and uh, chipping in also is Jared Terrell with six, Iverson uh, with uh, six, and uh, Robinson with uh, five. And as far as uh, VCU goes, uh, they uh, have nobody in double figures yet. They're led by Brooks with six, Burgess with six, and uh, that's about it. 
When value is a must, shop Builders Surplus. Visit them at builders-surplus.com today. People's Credit Union, a proud partner of URI Basketball. And on its way to journey through the Atlantic 10, visit them online at peoplecu.com. Uh, it's going to be a real important two minutes and 55 seconds here, Steve. Rhode Island with this 13-point uh, lead. You don't want to get it down below double digits going into the locker room and give VCU any momentum at all. But uh, right now, you know, going to the foul line. is Hamdi he misses the first one. Hamdi from the line, 62%. It's his second trip to the line so far today. He was two of two, now two of three. And hits the fourth one from the line. So the lead carved down to 36-24. Ahmad Hamdi Mohamed. Pretty good player out of Egypt. Inbounds pass comes to Robinson. He gives it back to uh, Jarvis Garrett. He's going to work it over the timeline. Under three minutes to play first half. Rhode Island ahead 24 points for VCU, 36 points for Rhode Island. Jarvis Garrett all the way to the hoop, puts it up over Tillman. Tillman blocks the shot. The rebound saved by Burgess into the hands of Brooks. Brooks is going to bring it up on the right side of the floor for VCU. Been trailing the whole game. Rhode Island burst out of the gates once again like they did against Bonaventure and like they did against Davidson at all. No uh, early lulls for Rhode Island anymore. It was that way during the season. No longer. Into the league, into the lane goes Williams. Williams out of control a little bit. Pushes it off the glass. No good. Rebound. Tillman up block by Cyril Langevin. And he comes down with a rebound as well. He gives it to Robinson. Freshman uh, coming up big for Rody. That was a manly rebound he got that time. He blocked the shot and just grabbed it right out of uh, Tillman's hands. Two minutes to play in the half. 36-24. Rhode Island by 12. Left side to E.C. Matthews. Perfect from three. He puts it to the floor, though, and rotates. Brings it out to the top of the key. He's out in the uh, 8-10 championship jump circle. Gets in the lane, takes an extra step, pushes it off the rim. No good. Rebound Tillman. Went up a little bit early with that one and left it short. Tillman with the rebound. Gets it over to Williams. Williams kicks to the corner now. In the corner with it is Brooks. Brooks tries to pass down low. We got a whistle on the foul against Rhode Island. Yeah, that's going to send uh, VCU to the uh, foul line. Uh, that time we follows on uh, Stanford Robinson. Uh, he's guarding, I think it was Burgess uh, down low and committed the foul before the ball could get uh, thrown into him. So it's going to send VCU to the foul line once again. VCU huddled up above the uh, free throw line. The officials are saying, hey, fellas, hate to break it up, but we got a game to play here. Burgess makes his way to the free throw line on the year 45%. So if you're going to send somebody to the line, that would be the guy. One of two last time. This time he misses the front end, and E.C. Matthews pulls down the rebound. So BCU comes up empty, still trailing by 12 with one minute and 30 seconds remaining in the first half of play. Over the timeline is Jeff Dowden. Dowden looking for a screen, motions over to Cyril Langevin, and then throws it across the court to Jared Terrell. Kicks it back to Robinson, shoots for three, back of the rim, no, off the rim again, no. Tillman the rebound. Off to Williams, over the timeline. Williams to the middle of the court. Williams crosses over, gets in the lane, tries to throw it up, no. Oh, they're going to call a hell of a ball. Where did that come from? They didn't call a foul, which was good. Williams was forcing contact, but Rhode Island just let him come in. And it's going to be a hell of a ball, which will give it back to VCU. I've lost travel. Let's see. Uh, it's... Arrows point Rhode Island's way, but they've already flipped it over. So VCU gets the ball. 36-24, Rhode Island by a dozen. Getting sloppy out there at the end of the half. Dowdy comes out. Tillman comes out with 108 remaining in the first half of play. VCU with the ball, trailing by 12. Into the corner it goes. Jaquan Lewis, no good on the jump shot. Rebound, batted around, out of bounds. Rody ball. Okay, Rhode Island's going to score on this possession, Steve. They've had three chances uh, down the other end. Uh, Stanford Robinson missed a jump shot. DC missed a jump shot. Jarvis Garrett drove to the hoop, couldn't score. So they need a score on this possession and uh, some three-quarter court pressure by VCU. Minute to go. First half of play. 8-10 championship on the line. Jeff Dowden over the timeline. Williams guarding him. Jeff works it to the left side. Jeff fires toward the basket, dumps it down low to Robinson, kicks it out to Terrell. Terrell to the hoop, up off the glass, and it rolls in. Well, that's just unselfish basketball the way Rhode Island played there. So good play by uh, Terrell, taking it strong to the hoop. 38-24, 14-point lead for Rhode Island with 36 seconds remaining. It's about a 12-second differential shot clock to game clock. Right side, Brooks. Brooks gets by, doubt, and into the lane, puts it up, puts it in, gets fouled. 
All right, he'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Cyril Langevin picks up his second. So Rhode Island going to be in a little bit of foul trouble, although they'll get to the half here with uh, two fouls on all their big guys, Karan, Cyril, and Hassan. They've got 29.3 seconds to go. Looks like uh, Cyril's going to stay in for those 30. Brooks makes a free throw, so a three-point play makes an 11-point lead, 38-27. Shot clock is off, game clock at 29. But Allen looks to take the last shot here if they can. Under pressure in the backcourt, Jeff Doughton gets it over the timeline. We'll get a timeout called by Dan Hurley. It's a use it or lose it timeout, so we are going to keep it right here with you. Rhode Island uh, certainly putting it together in the first half here down, but VCU sh showing signs of getting back in toward the end. Oh, they've really you know, nipped into Rhode Island's lead. They had the 17-point lead, and now it's down to 11. Uh, Rhode Island with uh, 21 seconds left on the uh, shot clock, game clock. Uh, they're going to have to make sure they just don't turn this ball over, Steve, and uh, you know, see if you can get the ball in the hands of either you know, Jared Terrell or E.C. Matthews, but don't take the shot too early because this... Uh, VCU team can push the ball up the court. Local so, 51 is a proud partner of URI Athletics just as URI continues its pursuit of excellence in education. Local 51 continues to strive towards its goal of providing the highest quality and most skilled craftsmen in the industry. Thanks to our friends at Local 51. All right, Jeff Dowden with 18 seconds on the uh, game clock. The shot clock is off. He's got the ball just over the midcourt line. Williams guarding him. He gets it on the left wing to Jared Terrell, brings it back up top himself. Nine seconds now. Terrell dribbles to the right wing all the way to the baseline, pulls it up and lays it in. Four seconds remaining for VCU. Williams gets it. One second. Gets it off in time, and it does not go in. So Rhode Allen leaves the floor with a 13-point lead, 40-27. to Got to feel good about that. Halftime is brought to us by the Muse Tavern. Check out the Muse Tavern in downtown Wakefield, featuring three unique bars serving local brews and extensive menu just minutes from campus. The Muse is a proud partner of URI Athletics and the place to be before and after all Rhodey basketball. Well, Coach, the red-hot three-point shooting carried over from yesterday. What got this offense clicking right from the start? You know, the fact that probably we're a really good team, and uh, again, we're healthy now. And, uh, you know, we're probably the team right now people expected us to be. But we've got a lot of work to do. That's a great basketball team there. These few only 10 points in the paint. How did you keep them from being effective in the room in that first half? We're one of the best defensive teams in the country. Allie, I'm sorry to brag. Uh, but, you know, uh, that's a great team. They're downhill drivers. You know, uh, we've got to continue to guard the ball well. And we've got to continue to get vertical when they get the paint. Thanks, Coach. Uh, what's Dan talking about there in the locker room? Well, I think Dan's going to do the same thing he did in the game uh, yesterday against Davidson. You know, go around, pat the guys in the head and say, hey, great first half. You know, we played some great defense against a good offensive team. And on the offensive end, uh, you know, we made some great decisions. Let's go out in the second half and uh, do the same thing. Uh, Rhode Island, nice to see them score that basket at the end with uh, Dan Hurley calling a timeout with over 20 seconds uh, left in the game. And uh, they were able to score with, uh, you know, Jared Terrell driving it strong along the baseline. So Rhode Island has led this entire basketball game. VCU has never led. Rhode Island's biggest lead was 17. They were up 29-12. to 12, And then VCU made a little bit of a run to get it down to just a 10-point deficit. But Rhode Island was able to score in the last couple of minutes. So Rhode Island uh, takes that 13-point lead into the half, and I think Dan Hurley's going to be very, very happy with both the offense and the defense for Rhode Island. That is the truth right now. Looking good for Rhodey. Got some uh, more basketball to play, though, before we start celebrating here. You're listening to URI Basketball, the Atlantic 10 Championship from Learfield. Welcome back once again. PPG Paint Serena, the only year that uh, the Atlantic 10 tournament will be here in Pittsburgh, and Rhode Island is trying to be the lone Pittsburgh recipient of the Atlantic 10 that title. They have not won it since 1999. They have not been to the finals since 2007 when they lost to George Washington in the finals. 99, it was a, a win against uh, Temple in the final, of course, and that was Lamar Room's jump shot to win it at the buzzer. For VCU, they are uh, regular in this uh, stage of the postseason. They have 10 conference titles with the CAA and the Atlantic 10, one of them in the Atlantic 10. They've been to the title game in their respective conferences six straight years. 2012, they won the CAA. 2015, they won the Atlantic 10. They lost to St. Joe's last year in the final game. In 2015, they beat Dayton to win it. And Lewis, Tillman, Brooks, Alley Cox, Williams, 
in Burston and Burgess as well, seven of them, all part of that 2015 8-10 title team. So they know what it's like to be here. Nothing phasing them at all. Rhode Island, it's all new to them. None of, none of these guys have played in a game of this importance in their collegiate careers. Yet it was Rhode Island that came out of the gates down looking like the team that's been here before. Uh, they were loosey-goosey. Uh, they were you know, loosey-goosey coming over on the ride uh, for the St. Bonaventure game. They were loose uh, for coming over on the ride for the Davidson game. And they were loose today coming over on the bus. And, uh, you know, they want to win it for the seniors. They realize that there's two seniors that have really contributed to the program, Hassan Martin and Kron Iverson. And the rest of the team wants to win it for them and give them you know, the experience of uh, going to the NCAA tournament. So they got a 13-point lead. They're going to get the possession to start the second half. And, uh, you know, we had a thing at halftime. Uh, the, they had a guy out here that was doing some uh, painting, throwing paint on a big, huge canvas. And Jaquan uh, Lewis comes out and looks at the floor and points to the referee and says, there's paint all over the floor. Well, they got a couple of spots. Yeah, they were cleaning up most of it. I don't know how they got paint there because that was right under the mat. Yeah. The guy was pretty good. But, you know, why do you get a painter out for a basketball game? I don't know. Yeah, maybe a hockey game where he lands on the ice and you can scrape it off the ice maybe. But <laughs> Or maybe in a museum where you're supposed to paint things and hang things up. I don't know. However they want to spend their 20 minutes, that's up to them. All I know is the next 20 minutes are the ones I'm most concerned with. Rhode Island trying to finish out the job that they started on Friday with an afternoon win against Bonaventure. Continued yesterday with a blowout win against Davidson. And uh, they've continued that effort in the first 20 minutes here up by 13, 40 to 27 against the number two seed VCU. They've knocked out by Davidson. That cleared the path for Rhode Island. But uh, most people think that if Rhode Island wants to go to the NCAA tournament, they're gonna win this game today. And they are in a very good position to do it now, but, but a long way from the finish line. Inbounds pass comes to Karan Iverson. He's going to start things off for Rhode Island. Gives it to Jeff Dowden. Man-to-man -man defense for VCU coming out of the gate. Dowden with the ball in midcourt. Gets it out to Karan Iverson. Iverson turns to the basket. Rhode Island setting up for the flex here. Having trouble doing it. Some very good defense by VCU. Over to Terrell. Terrell swings it to uh, Karan. Has the ball taken away by Brooks. But a foul call on Brooks as he gets him on the arm. Yeah, good thing the foul was called. The shot clock was winding down, you know, below 10 seconds. Rhode Island had nothing going on the offensive end. The defensive intensity for VCU seems to have picked up here in the second half. Iverson gets the inbounds pass. Fresh shot clock for Rhode Island. Over to Matthews on the wing on the left. Up top it goes to Jeff Dowden. Dowden swings it back to Matthews. EC over to Jared. Jared from the corner gets it to go from three. Brody out of the gates again. 43-27, 16-point lead for Rhode Island. Lewis on the left side, not how Will Wade and the VCU Rams drew it up. Inside to Mo Ali Cox, strong to the hoop, off the glass, off the rim and in. Yeah, Ali Cox got the front position that time on Karan Iverson. Iverson playing behind him with those two personal fouls. Really couldn't go up and challenge his jump hook. Terrell to the left wing to Martin. Martin holds it there, gets it up to Karan Iverson. 18 seconds on the shot clock. A little over a minute into the second half of play. Jeff Dowden takes it from Karan, brings it back out to the jump circle. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Jeff gives it up to Hassan Martin, spins in the lane, puts it up and in. Well, he did a good job catching that ball, number one. Hassan Martin did, did another great job in making a spin move for the layup. Close to a travel, no call, though. Lewis has the ball, works off the screen by Hamdi. Now he comes back the other way on that screen. Now he gives it to him on the pick and roll. It's taken away by Jared Terrell. One on one with Burgess back. Puts it off the glass. No good. Rebound Mo Ali Cox. Pulls it down. He gives it to Lewis and starts it up the floor. Yeah, good take by Rhode Island that time. One on one. Inside it goes to Hamdi. Hamdi Mohammed puts it up. Blocked by Karan Iverson. Oh, it looked like all ball. They're going to call the foul on him. That'll be number three on Karan. Yeah, that looked like a good block from really here. Did. You know, he went up and had uh, no body contact at all. He just took those long arms, reached out, and was able to get a piece of the ball as the shot was uh, being taken. But that's going to send, uh, unfortunately, him to the bench. And uh, he's a very important part of the out offense, Iverson, because he can play outside and reverse the basketball against this pressure. But uh, Langevin going to come into the game now, and he's somebody that does not handle the ball as well. 
<laughs> and Hurley having a discussion with the official, probably about much the same thing. Langevin in, Karan Iverson out at 18 minutes with three fouls. Let's see how long he stays on the bench. Henry Mohamed drops another one down. 50, uh, 45, 31 Rhode Allen. Still up by 14 now after a couple of made free throws. Jeff Doughton over the timeline forward island being guarded by Jaquan Lewis. Doughton leaves it on the wing for E.C. Matthews. Trouble holding on with Brooks right on him. Matthews able to hold on to the basketball though. Puts it to the floor. Jaquan Lewis takes over defending him. They skip it over to Doughton. Doughton tries to get in the lane. Can't. Leaves it for E.C. who fumbles the ball. Boy, had trouble hanging on to him. Goes to the basket with it. Lays it inside for Hassan. Has it poked loose by Brooks. Steal for VCU. Or Allen never really got settled in that possession. Over to Lewis. Lewis at the top of the key. Lewis slips a little bit but maintains possession of the ball and stays on his feet. Jaquan Lewis off the screen. Gives it up on the pick and roll to Mo Ali Cox. Strong to the hoop. Front rim no. Rebound. Kept alive by Hassan Martin but it hits the back of the backboard and comes back at him. So it'll be VCU basketball. 17-17 remaining in the game. Rhode Island ahead 45-31. Yeah, good defense by Rhode Island. Off balance shot by Mo Ali Cox. Came off the rim. Uh, unfortunately, Hassan Martin couldn't grab it, just lost it out of bounds. Hamdi Muhammad gets the ball, gets it over to Burgess. Burgess to Lewis, getting in the lane, down to Hamdi, puts it up. Too strong off the board, no good, but a whistle and a foul. And it looks like it's going to go against Hassan. It'll be number three on him. Is Hassan or Langevin? Let's oh, see who they give that one to. Yeah, they're going to give it to uh, Hassan Martin. That's going to be his third personal foul. So Rhode Island uh, bigs in trouble here with 17-11 remaining in the game. The uh, only points really scored have been foul shots by VCU here in the second half. Hassan Martin coming out of the game. Nicola Kelly in there now. And VCU has its two biggest guys in there. Uh, Mohammed at uh, 6'9", 240. And Mo Alley Cox at 6'7", 250. Hamdi and Muhammad makes both free throws. 45-33. It's a 12-point lead now. Ball goes to E.C. Matthews. Matthews on the wing. Forward Island. In a trap. Gives it a high post to Akeli. Back out to Matthews. Akeli in the ball game now. Forward Island. Matthews strong to the hoop. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. But we do have a whistle on a foul. Blocking foul. That'll get E.C. to the free throw line. Doing a good job penetrating that gap and getting himself to the free throw line. Yeah, he did a good job. He gave a ball fake, which got his defender on his uh, heels, and he was able to split the two defenders, uh, go down the lane, throw the big guys over, unable to score the basket, but he will go to the foul line for two foul shots. First one on its way. It is good. You see Matthews staying hot from the line. Five of five yesterday. Eight of eight from the line in the St. Bonaventure game. And that's his first free throw so far today. First attempt. Second one on its way. And it falls off the rim. No good. 46-33. Rhode Island by 13. Lewis with it. Lewis gets in the lane. Lewis fires one up. Front rim no. Rebound. Tillman flushes it home. 11-point lead for Rhode Island. Yeah, Tillman just came into the game for Muhammad, and uh, his presence is felt in that follow-up dunk. Jeff Doughton over the timeline to EC. It's a critical moment right here for Rhode Island. Head by 11. Still plenty of room. VCU trying to sneak back into this basketball game. High post to Kelly. Kelly gets it over to EC. EC trying to work off a surreal screen. Can't find it there. EC has it poked loose by Brooks out of bounds. Going to stay for Rhode Island basketball with only seven seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, not much going on the offensive end for Rhode Island. Uh, doing a lot of dribbling. Uh, not a lot of passing. But the defense is such that uh, the passes can't be made. Jared Terrell gets it inbounds to Akeli. Akeli goes back door to Matthews. EC on the reverse. No. Langevin the rebound. Up and in. Wow. Big offensive board for Cyril Langevin. Making it happen for Rhode Island. Left side Brooks. Brooks gets it back out to Lewis. Rhode Island in his own defense here. Against VCU, they kick it to Lewis on the right side. It brings it back out top to Brooks. Over to Burgess. Burgess in the lane. Burgess kicks out to Lewis. Into the corner to Brooks. Shot for three. Side of the rim, no. Rebound, Kelly. Nice rebound by Nicola Kelly, picking it up off the ground, but getting to it quickly. 
Over to Jeff Dowden. Dowden over the timeline. Rhode Island by 13, 48-35. Dowden in the lane to a Kelly. A Kelly slips it down to Langevin on the blocks. Kicks to the corner. Up top to Terrell. Fakes the pass. Takes the shot. Ear ball. Loose ball. Terrell after it. Not going to get it in time. BCU basketball. Yeah, good, good rotation ball. by Rhode Island. Good ball movement by Rhode Island yeah. that time and ended up with a pretty good shot by uh, Jared Terrell uh, just a little bit off on it. 15-23 remaining in the basketball game. Rhode Island leading it by 13-48-35. We'll take a break. Be right back. It's URI basketball in the Atlantic 10 Championships from Learfield. You know, he's got a lot of subs in there now with Langevin in there and, and Nicola Raquel. And I think he just wants to go over the game plan is that, hey, you know, you're going to get the ball down low. We don't want you to make any of your moves down low. We want you to kick the ball back out. He wants the guards in there for Rhode Island. Jared Terrell, E.C. Matthews, and Jeff Dowden is in the game right now, you know, to be the guys that probably to take the shots. You don't want to have Langevin force anything or Nicola force anything. And just get some time. It's 15, 20 three remaining get it down to about 12 or 11 minutes and see if he can get Hassan and Kron Iverson back in the game. Rhode Island is losing the rebounding battle 31-23 16 offensive rebounds for VCU to four for Rhode Island. Rhode Island shooting better. Rhode Island shooting 51 percent 50 percent from three 63 percent from the free throw line. VCU is 26 percent shooting 33 percent from three and 71 percent from the free throw line. If you're thinking oh they're just having a bad day shooting that's the roadie defense. They're number one and three-point percentage defense, field goal percentage defense, points allowed. I mean, they are locked down defense. Down low to Mo Ali Cox, puts it up, rolls around the rim and out. Rebound to Langevin now. That might not have been less defense and more bad luck that time. Jeff Dowden going to take it over the timeline forward. I'm going to head by 13. Gives it up to E.C. Matthews. E.C.U. can't buy a bucket in the low post area. Over to Jared Terrell. Terrell goes to give it to Langevin, but he turned his back on the play. Daquan Lewis and E.C. Matthews both going for the ball. And we're going to have a uh, whistle and a foul on E.C., I believe. Yeah, that time it was a pick and roll, and Langevin rolled to the basket, but he didn't have his uh, head looking at the ball, and the ball hit him on the backside. And in the ensuing scrum, a uh, foul was committed by Rhode Island, so a turnover for Rhode Island. Rhode Island in the zone defense. With the group they have in there now, they're more comfortable playing zone. Williams with the ball at the top of the key to Dowdy. Dowdy's been quiet today. 17 points yesterday against Richmond. Dowdy's got it on the wing. Solid defense by Rhode Island. This is a good big defense in that zone. Out to Dowdy. He's going to shoot for three. Gets us to go. Ten-point game. 48-38. Passing his seatbelt. CCU is trying to make a run here. Rhode Island's got some of the key players on the... Bench right now with three fouls, Hassan Martin and Karan Iverson. You don't want to get one of them in the game anyway, right? Jared Terrell, top of the key, over to Dowden. Dowden on the wing. Guarded by Dowdy. Dowden takes Dowdy in the lane, flips it up, no good. We're going to whistle on an offensive foul. Dowden a little bit out of control going in. After he released the basketball, he continued down the lane and yeah, took right those now, pins out. Yeah, right now it's just the three guards handling the basketball, Steve. Uh, no confidence with the guys down low. So I think, uh, you know, Dan, pretty soon, 14 minutes left, you got to get it down to like 13. You may have to, you know, take and put Karan Iverson and, uh, you know, Hassan Martin back in this game. Stan Robinson comes back in. Jeff Dowden comes out. Maybe Dan thinking a little bit too much for the freshman right now. He just had that charging foul. Ten-point game. Williams gets it to Dowdy. Dowdy in the lane. Gets some contact. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Langevin. Langevin over to Terrell. Jared Terrell with a ten-point lead in the ball. Over to E.C. Matthews. Matthews spins in the lane, throws up a floater. No good. Rebound Tillman. Tillman clears. He's the third leading rebounder in the Atlantic 10. Over to Williams. Williams has the ball sprung loose, but Tillman picks it up. Jaquan Lewis takes it all the way to the hoop. Puts it up no good, but gets fouled on the way in. Yeah, Rhode Island getting himself into foul trouble. That's the uh, fifth foul on Rhode Island now. VCU with just two here in the second half. Ten-point lead by Rhode Island. Lewis going to go to the free throw line. Excellent free throw shooter, 82%. 12th in the Atlantic 10 in that department. He did not get to the line against Rhode Island last time, but was 6 of 6 last night. First one's good. Makes it a nine-point game, single figures for the first time in a long time, Donald. Yeah, last time it was in single figures. Rhode Island had a 15-7 uh, to 7 lead. It was just an eight-point lead for Rhode Island wow. now. You see you on the move here in the second half. That's a long time ago. Eight-point eight lead now as both free throws are good. Jarvis Garrett 
we got to get uh, guys in the game right now. Jarvis Garrett over the timeline. Has Karan Iverson out there with him and Jarrell and uh, Jared Terrell. Back to Iverson in the jump circle now for Rhode Island. To Garrett with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Garrett's in the jump circle. Works at high post to Langevin. Gives it up to Iverson on the flex. Iverson hands off to Stan Robinson. Robinson tries to take Williams in the lane. Cut off. Five seconds on the shot clock. Back out to Jared Terrell. Terrell's going to have to fire up an off-balance three. Just shades the rim. No good. Tillman keeps it alive. Gets it to Lewis. Eight-point difference in the game. Jaquan Lewis trying to get himself going to the lane. Floats it up and in. Six-point game now. And a timeout called by Dan Hurley. He had a feeling that VCU was going to make a run at some point. Though. Well, you did. And, uh, you know, the two bigs of Rhode Island on the bench, uh, they really got exploited on the defensive end. And uh, now Dan Hurley put Iverson back in the game. Now he calls a timeout to get uh, Hassan Martin back in the game. But you know, the defense of uh, VCU has got Rhode Island's offense a good 25 feet out, Steve, just dribbling the basketball and passing on the perimeter. You know, nothing going down low, no penetration at all. So they got to get back to what gave them that uh, big lead in the first half, and that is, you know, playing and distributing the basketball. Dan's hot about something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but he's looking down the other side of the court. Got a full timeout. We'll take one as well. Back in just a bit, URI basketball from Learfield. Big run by VCU. Gets it down to six, Donald. Yeah, Rhode Island had a 16-point lead, 43-27, to 27, but it's been a 13-5 to 5 run by VCU that's got it down to eight and has got this uh, crowd really energized here. Rhode Island basketball out of the baseline, 94 feet away from the basket. They're attacking. Inbounds pass on full court pressure. Comes in to Stan Robinson. Gets it over to Karan Iverson and brings it up the floor. Karan on the wing on the left side of the floor for Rhode Island. Ron dribbles to the top of the key and hands it off to Jarvis Garrett. Rody by six, 12.39 to play. Left side of San Martin, all the big guns in for Rhode Island now. Over to Jared Terrell. Terrell spins it to the right side of the floor to Stan Robinson, one-on-one -on -one with Williams. Trying to dump it down to Hassan. Can't quite find a hole for it, though. Gives it up to Jarvis with four seconds on the shot clock. Out to Karan. Shot for three, in and out. Rebound tipped up and in. Yeah, tipped in by Hassan Martin, a much-needed basket by Rhode Island. Hassan and Tillman going for that one. Maybe they both got a piece of it, but it ended up going through the hoop. That's what counts. Gladly give credit to Tillman if he wants it. 50 to 42, Rody by eight. Williams top of the key. Zone defense for Rhode Island. They work at the Tillman on the baseline. Big score for them and big rebounder as well. Skips it across to Lewis. Lewis measures for three, then drops it into Mo Ali Cox. Cox kicks it out. Dowdy for three. Back of the rim, no. Rebound, Stan Robinson. Robinson gets it over to Jared Terrell. Terrell over the timeline. Rody up by eight now, trying to build that lead back up. Terrell goes to the baseline, puts it oh. up and in, it gets fouled as well. That's an impossible shot. I don't know how he got that off, Steve. Uh, he went down along the uh, foul lane, and then he stopped uh, as he was going out of bounds, and uh, somehow he shot it almost behind the backboard. Nothing but swish, and he gets fouled by Williams, so he'll go to the foul line and try to complete the three-point play. Time out on the floor. We're going to take one as well. The cheers are out. They're sitting down for a long one. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. It's URI basketball from Learfield in the Atlantic 10 Championship. 11.36 to play here. Rhode Island back up to a 10-point lead at 52-42 on two straight buckets by Rhode Island. Looking a little bit better. Newport Propane is Rhode Island's number one choice for all your propane needs. Family owned and operated since 1959. Newport Propane will treat you like part of the family. Visit them at NewportPropane.com. Peter Sherman was back home but came in this morning to be here for the finals for the University of Rhode Island, the owner of uh, Newport Propane. So we want to thank Peter for making the trip this morning to be here for the, and so far so good. Right now, I think Peter would say it's worth the trip. Yeah, but, uh, a little bit of a bounce back for Rhode Island down getting the last four. Yeah, they were down eight, and uh, you know they uh, done a good job here, and they have an opportunity to go into the foul line now in the second half. Rhode Island is one of two from the foul line. Jared Terrell made an almost an impossible shot as he's going out of bounds. Nothing hit nothing but the bottom of the net as he shot it over the corner of the backboard as he's going out of bounds. So see if he can make the free throw here to give Rhode Island an 11 point lead. Jared good from the free throw line. One of two on the day, 75% on the year. Makes the uh, extra shot, making the three-point play, 53-42. Rody back up by 11. 
So they survived that first run by VCU with five straight points here. Zone for Rhode Island. Doughty brings it over to Williams. Stuffs it inside. Mo Ali Cox going to the bucket. Can't get the ball to go in, but does get fouled. And he'll get to the free throw line for a couple of them. That's going to be on Cron Iverson. Yep. That's going to be his fourth personal foul. You know, Dan Hurley playing the zone. You try to keep guys out of foul trouble by playing the zone. But that time they get the ball down low to Mo Ali Cox. And as he wheeled to go to the basket, Cron went up and tried to block the shot and get a piece of Cox. So it sends him to the foul line. First one by Cox is good. Or should Allie Cox? 74% from the free throw line for him. Great against note. George Mason, he was 0 for 4 from the line. Against Richmond, he was 1 for 1. Right now, uh, VCU is 7 of 7 from the foul line here just in the second half. Allie Cox going to get one more. That one hits the rim a couple of times and drops in. 53-44. Nine-point lead for Rhode Island. Ball in their hands. Stan Robinson, good ball handler, over the timeline with it. Burgess with him. Goes to the left side. Jared Terrell. Terrell banks it off the glass. No good. Rebound. Tillman. Nine-point lead for Rhode Island. Ball in the hands of ECU. Right side is Brooks. Brooks lobs it down low to Ali Cox. One-on-one -on -one with... Uh, Hassan Martin kicks it out to Lewis. Lewis takes it in off the glass and in. Uh, he's just so hard to guard. I think Stanford Robinson took his eye off of him. And he took his eye off him and uh, he just blew right by him. Seven-point lead now for Rhode Island. There's as many as 17. Stan Robinson tries to get in the lane. Has to back out. Too many guys in there. Brings it over to Martin on the wing on the right side of the floor. He hands it off to Jarvis Garrett. We're going to whistle in a foul on Jaquan Lewis. Yeah, for Lewis, that's going to be his second personal foul. For the team, it's going to be their fourth. But Island will get the ball out of bounds along the sideline. E.C. Matthews coming in. Jared Terrell going out for a little bit of a rest. E.C. had the hot hand early and uh, just has remained hot for Rhode Island when he gets the opportunity to shoot, which has been few and far between. Brooks has been on him in like a glove the entire game. Martin gets it over to Nicola Kelly, hands it off to EC, takes Brooks in the lane to the elbow, the free throw line, pushes it forward off the front part of the rim, no good. Rebound to Kelly. Kelly has it stripped away by Tillman, and Tillman travels with, oh, they're going to call a foul. Well, that's a bad call. Yeah, it looks like Tillman traveled. He dragged that pivot foot. Uh, I don't think a Kelly touched him. Till Tillman lost his balance, and yeah. he was uh, just going down on the, on the floor. It would have been a travel, and they call Nicola or Kelly for the foul, but... You know, Rhode Island in the first half, Steve, you know, took some real good shots, you know, wide open shots, and they had patience. But right now, they're kind of forcing everything. And E.C. Matthews went down the lane that time, made a difficult, difficult move, and threw up a very low percentage shot. So they got to get back to, you know, taking some good shots. 53-46 right now. Cyril Langevin checking in. Nicola Kelly coming out. Giving Rhode Island a little more rebounding strength here. Farron Iverson on the bench with four. Jeff Doughton on the bench. Tillman's front end of the one-on-one. No good, but the rebound cleared by Molly. Cox stripped of the ball by EC. But Allen maintains a seven-point lead. Tillman, a good free-throw shooter, or I should say average, a 64%. Left side, Hassan Martin. One dribble gives it up to EC. EC runs off a couple of screens, swings it over to Robinson on the right wing. Robinson dumps it down low to Hassan. One-on-one -on -one with Mo Ali Cox. Up and under for Hassan off the rim. No good. Rebound cleared by Tillman. Good look, though. Couldn't get it to go. Tillman hands it off to Lewis. Lewis ahead of steam trying to get by Jarvis Garrett. Nice job by Jarvis to cover up. Lewis takes a second try in. Left-handed off the glass and in. Wow. Very well done. 53-48. Five-point lead for Rhode Island now. Big possession here. Stan Robinson with the ball in front of Dan Hurley, Dan makes the call. Stan goes to the baseline, kicks it out top to Martin. Martin holds it there, looking to get it to EC, but Brooks is just taking him out of the picture. Sorrell Langevin with the ball. We go to the left side of the floor, driving the lane, kicking it out to EC. Shot for three. In and out. Rebound Tillman. Tillman kicks it out to Lewis. Lewis over the timeline. Five-point difference here. Lewis all the way to the hoop. Blocked by Hassan Martin. Out of bounds. It'll stay VCU basketball. Well, I'll tell you, when he gets a head of steam on him, uh, Lewis is just unstoppable. He's Fast. so quick out there. That's why Jarvis Garrett's in the game right now to try to, you know, keep up with him. And, and you just can't, I mean, I don't know if there's anybody in the league that 
is that fast as he just he gets going. Well, Lewis is coming out of the game. That's the good news for Rhode Island. Robinson coming out as well. Jeff Doughton going back in for Rudy. Nine minutes to play in this one. Five-point difference, 53-48. Rhode Island ahead. Left side, Brooks down low to Mo Alley Cox. One-on-one -on -one with Langevin. Cox kicks it back out. Sets a screen for Williams. Williams tries to get in, can't. Over to Brooks, shot for three, in and out. Rebound, tipped, and Tillman's got it. Back up off the glass, no. Rebound, Martin this time. Rhode Island keeps their five-point lead. They've got the ball in their hands with E.C. Matthews over the timeline. E.C. guarded by Burgess this time as Brooks takes uh, Jarvis Garrett on the switch. Garrett right to the hoop, leaves it for Son, gets fouled on the way up by Brooks. He'll go to the line for two. Uh, Son comes up a little bit uh, limping. I don't know if he turned his ankle or banged his knee on that one, but a good penetration by Jarvis Garrett going down the lane. Looked like he might have had an open lane going in there, Steve. Yeah. Instead, he dished it over across the lane to Hassan Martin, who was coming down. Hassan went up for the dunk and got fouled hard on the play, so he's going to have to earn two at the foul line. Hassan 68% on the year from the line. First one is no good. Yesterday he was 0 for 1, 3 of 5 on Friday against St. Bonaventure. Yeah, Rhode Island now in the second half, uh, 2 of 4 from the charity stripe, and uh, VCU is 7 of 7 from the foul line. Burgess and Mo Alley Cox out. Lewis is back in. Also back in for VCU, I believe it was Hamby. Yep, Hamby's down there. He's had a good game. Second one, good by Hassan. Makes it 54-48, a six-point lead for Rhode Island with eight and a half minutes to play. VCU has worked hard to get back in this one. Do they have enough gas to finish off the job? Ham Hamby gets at the low post, one-on-one -on -one with Cyril Langevin. Goes to the jump hook, too hard off the glass, no good. Rebound cleared by Rhode Island. E.C. Matthews has it. Over the timeline with Brooks on him. Runs off a of Hassan screen and a good one. EC gets in the lane, fumbles the ball a little bit, passes out top, taken away by Brooks. Going to whistle and a foul. The foul is going to be on yeah, Jarvis, no, I no, believe. No foul call. They're going to give a bench warning uh, to Dan. He was all over the official, but they call no foul on that. They just call it uh, Rhode Island's ball. They're going to call oh, a technical PC. foul on Dan. Dan has got to calm down. It's going to send uh, Daquan Lewis down the other end uh, for two shots. So what was the initial whistle for when the, the initial whistle initial <laughs> initial whistle was for the ball out of bounds, okay. no foul, no contact, but uh, Jarvis Garrett got uh, nailed to the floor. So they make the free throw on the technical. Should make it 54-49. Yeah, it should. I haven't put it on the board yet, but anyway, it's going to be Rhode Island ball on the sideline. You see Matthews to take it out. There it goes. Five-point game. Matthews into the backcourt to Jarvis Garrett. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Not a fresh shot clock because Rhode Island had the ball when it went out of bounds. Garrett takes it strong to the hoop, flips it up off the rim. No good. Rebound foul. Well, it's going to be a foul on the shot, apparently. That's going to be underneath, and... Uh, yeah, Looks like Ali Cox might be the victim there. Yeah, good penetration that time by Jarvis Garrett. They went down the lane, the big guys came over, and uh, he just couldn't get enough elevation to get the shot to fall. He did get the foul down the play, so he'll go to the foul line for two shots. Got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. You'll listen to URI basketball. Head by 5, 54-49 with 7.55 to go. Will this half ever end from Learfield? This is URI basketball, the Atlantic 10 Championships. Take a look at uh, some of the hustle points for uh, for Rhode Island right now uh, as they're up against. The, I'll tell you what, let's just do some leading scorers instead. You see Matthews has 12 points, but Jared Terrell now 16 points lead the way for Rhode Island. Rhode Island shooting 45% from the field, 41% from three, so those numbers coming down a little bit. They had to. Uh, Lewis has 11 points on the other side for VCU and nine points for Brooks, the two leading scorers. Jarvis Garrett's at the free throw line after driving to the hoop. But Allen's ahead by five, make it six as Garrett knocks down the first one. He's a 76% free throw shooter. Hasn't been to the line a lot since being back, except for that VCU game. Remember that, Don? He was 12 12, 12, 12 yeah. the free throw line against these guys in the regular season. Second one is a miss. Rebound, though. Langevin back up and in. Wow, big play by the rookie. Off that missed foul shot, going in the lane and putting it back in. 
So that helps. 57-49, eight-point lead for Rhode Island now. Williams working on the left side of the floor. He's got Mo Ali Cox down low. Langevin working with him. San Martin's out at the top of the zone for Rhode Island now. They run it to the right side. They get it down to Mo Ali, but it's kicked out of bounds by Jarvis Garrett. So nine seconds on the shot clock. It wasn't a kick as in a foot, just knocked out of bounds. So that'll stay at nine. 7.31 remaining in the uh, the basketball game. Rhode Island ahead 57-49. VCU basketball. Inbounds goes to Jaquan Lewis. He floats one up from the baseline, in and out. Rebound tipped by Tillman right to Langevin. That was a big miss. Looked like a floater for uh, Lewis, who's going to be good going along the baseline. Jeff Gowden over the timeline. High post to Hassan Martin. Martin has the ball tipped away, but goes and gets it. Leaves it for E.C. Matthews. Matthews on the wing. Has Williams on him. Runs off a Langevin screen. Kicks over to Jarvis Garrett. Garrett fakes the shot. And brings it back to the middle of the floor. Jarvis. Off a Langevin screen again, kicks off to EC. Five seconds on the shot clock. EC's going to have to let this one go. He does, and he hits it. Oh, 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 baby. Remember that one at 650 when he dropped it down as the buzzer sounded. 60 to 49. Back the other way. Tillman gets it to go. And on the floor at the free throw line, Ford Island, Jarvis Garrett. Is Jarvis Garrett. Yeah, he uh, got in his man, and pick was set at the high post. He ran into the pick. He didn't even see it. Uh, he went down. And the only thing you worry about with Javis is that jaw of his that he broke last year. He gets up. He's going to walk toward the sideline. Athletic trainer taking a look at him. Dan Hurley out there to see if he's okay as well. Does he have to come out of the game now that yeah. the uh, trainer yeah. and uh, coach came out? He does. He does. So Jar uh, Jared Terrell is going to check in for him and get him right back in at the next whistle, but he has to come out right away. 60 to 51, Rhode Island by nine. EC, how about that one, Don, huh? Uh, you know, it's cool, calm, and collected. Uh, once again, the shot clock winding down. Rhode Island got nothing going on the offensive end, and uh, he just pulls up from about 28 feet and makes a huge three. Four of five from three-point range. Four of four yesterday. That's eight of nine in these two games so far. Jeff Doughton has the ball. Works it to the high post to Martin. DCU very aggressive on the defensive end. Over to uh, Jarvis, over to Jared Terrell, that is. Terrell the ball at the top of the key. Ten seconds on the shot clock. EC brings it back to him. EC with six seconds left. Takes Kilman into the lane. Kicks out to Terrell. Shot for three. Side of the room. No rebound. Chased down by EC Matthews. Rhode Island has a new 30. They're going to use it. 6-10 remaining. Rhode Island up by nine. Trying to use some clock, which is smart. Get closer to the finish line. They hand it to Hassan Martin. Martin at the elbow of the free throw line. Hands off to E.C. Matthews. Sets a screen and drops it down to Hassan on the pick and roll. He's got it mid post, Hassan does, on Mo Ali Cox. Takes him in the lane, puts up the one-hander. Yeah! Hassan yeah, Martin right in the face of Mo Ali Cox. Yeah, he's got a height advantage and, uh, as far as springing up in the air and did a good job you know, at that time. 62-51, Williams on the... Uh, Drive to the basket, underhands it off the backboard, off the rim, and in. 62 53, nine point lead for Rhode Island again. Five and a half to play, getting close. Jared Terrell trying to bring it over the timeline with Brooks here. Gives it up to Jeff Dowden. Dowden has Lewis guarding him, Jaquan Lewis. To the left side, it goes to EC. Back out to Jeff. Dowden holding it there over to EC on the wing on the right side of the floor. EC Matthews swings it to Jared Terrell. Seven seconds on the shot clock. We get a whistle and a foul. Wait a minute. What are they calling? Yeah, foul's going to be on Brooks. And Jeff Clark was looking at Dan Hurley. I thought he was going to call another technical foul on Dan. Yeah, Dan, Dan didn't look happy. I mean, he got the call. Brooks got the yeah. foul. Terrell's going to go to the line. Yeah, this Jeff will be awarded was, one. Jeff Clark was over and talks to Dan. Now they've known each other for a while, so he's given him a little bit of advice. First one by Jared. Good. Makes it a 10-point lead again, 63-53. With 5.08 to go. We're now trying to nail this one down. Williams, who just had that uh, tremendous drive to the basket, comes out of the game. Samir Doughty comes in. Jared Terrell 
Puts up the second one. That goes down as well. 64-63, Rody by 11. Jaquan Lewis walking it up over the timeline. Five minutes to play. Lewis to the free throw line. Lewis crosses over, comes back on Dowden, kicks to the corner. Lewis looking for the foul call. Dowdy takes it in the lane. Dowdy stops, pops, hits. Quick timeout called by VCU. Will Wade wants to talk it over. He's got his team within nine, but 4.51 to go, so that's starting to wear on him a little bit. It's going to be a mini timeout. Coach Wade not happy about something. He's not in his huddle. He's out grimacing at the officials. Well, these are three veteran officials. They're not going to put up with anything, especially from a two-year coach at the VCU. So he better watch himself before he picks up a technical ball. Now, what's Dan talking about? Well, I think Dan's talking about, you know, the offense. Hey, let's see if we can get into some type of a shot opportunity before the thing gets down to three or two seconds on the shot clock. But to give VCU you know, a lot of credit. They're playing some tough, tough defense. I don't think I've seen a team all year play the defense that VCU's playing right now. They're reaching in. They're trying to grab. They're trying to punch the ball away. They're trying to do everything. And uh, Rhode Island, you know, has to react to this full court pressure now. Lewis will be taking, uh, will be guarding uh, Jeff Doughton, taking the ball out of bounds. Jeff has the ball, inbounds goes to Hassan, kicks it over to Jared Terrell. He's got some room. He's going to bring uh, Brooks up the floor. Jared, nice little crossover to get Brooks turned around. High post, it goes to Langevin. Rhode Island trying to lead that clock. It's at 17 seconds right now. Jared's got it out near midcourt. He's content to keep it there for a little while. Brooks still out closely guarding. Over to the right side, Jared takes it to the hole, puts it off the glass, no good. Rebound, Jared picks it up, out to Jeff Doughton. Three seconds on the shot clock, no good on the shot. And uh, went over the back, so it's uh, back of the backboard. So it's going to be VCU basketball. Nine-point lead for Allen, 64-55. Big defensive set coming up right here. Yeah, Jared did, did a good job of driving down the lane, but he didn't hit the rim on his shot. And uh, Jeff Doughton got it, and he was uh, forced to take that uh, three-point uh, shot. And uh, unfortunately for Rhode Island, it didn't go down. But uh, now they're going to have to play some defense against VCU here. Williams over the timeline, trying to get Jaquan Lewis open on the wing. They fire it inside to Tillman instead. He's got it along the post. Kicks it back out to Doughty. Doughty over to Lewis. Team down by nine with four minutes to go. High post pass to Tillman. Shoots a two-pointer and gets it to go. Seven-point game now, 64-57 down. A little bit too easy that time. Tillman uh, flashed up from the low post to the foul line, got the ball, turned around, had a little 14-foot jump shot. E.C. Matthews gets the ball in the backcourt against full court pressure. He's got Dowdy bringing him up the floor. E.C. gets it over to Jeff Dowdy, still in the backcourt, and he walks it over the timeline. He's dealing with Jaquan Lewis, a very good defender. Lewis is one of the leaders in steals, six in steals and six in assists in this league. Terrell high post pass to Terrell Langevin. Straight to the basket, has it blocked by Mo Ali Cox. Into the hands of Dowdy. Dowdy gives it up to Williams. 64-57, seven-point lead. Williams crosses over. Gets out to the top of the key. Hands off to Jaquan Lewis. 3-12 remaining in the game. Rhode Island close to victory here. And we're going to have a foul on Langevin. Trying to guard Jaquan Lewis going baseline. That's a tough call, Steve. It looked like Lewis just you know, ran right into uh, Langevin and uh, you know lost control of the basketball, but they call a foul on Langevin. That's going to be for him. That's going to be his third personal foul as well. Time out on the floor. We'll take one as well. It's URI basketball from Learfield. Rhode Island 64, VCU 57. A seven-point lead with Jaquan Lewis, Lewis going to the free throw line, 82% from the line, 12th in the league. So uh, likely that these two would be good if we get it to a five-point game. And uh, Rhode Island trying to uh, hold out with three minutes and ten seconds left on to win the A-10 championship. Yeah, VCU's done a good job at the foul line in the second half. They're nine of ten uh, from the charity stripe. Uh, Rhode Island in the second half, six of nine from the foul line. So, uh, you know, Lewis made an aggressive move uh, against uh, Langevin that time. Uh, but what? Just three minutes and ten seconds left. Crown Iverson is back in the game with four personal fouls. Langevin's on the bench. Yeah, it's a good time to bring him in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good move. First shot by Jaquan Lewis is good. Rattles around but drops in. So Rhode Island's got their starters out there. Dowden, EC, Jared, 
Karan and Hassan. Second one, good by Jaquan, makes it a five-point game, 64-59. Moment of truth right here with three minutes and ten seconds to go. But Allen's led the entire game. Karan Iverson in the backcourt. They're going to make a move and get this thing over midcourt. Gets it to Jeff Doughton. Doughton trying to get it across the line. He does, but it's stolen by Jaquan Lewis. In turn, he loses it to E.C. Matthews. Matthews brings it back up for Rhode Island, and Jeff's got it from him. And Doughton's going to settle things down. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Wow. That thing turned in a hurry. Jaquan had to go to the ground to take the ball away, and then lost it. No five-second count as Doughton is working on Williams out near midcourt. So they cook it over to Hassan Martin. That's an advantage to Rhode Island right now. EC takes it from him, has it out of the jump circle. Six seconds on the shot clock now. EC Matthews in the lane, puts up the floater. Oh, in and out. Rebound Tillman. Boy, it looked good going back. Uh oh, oh man. Williams over the timeline. Five-point difference now. 2.20 to go. Zone defense for Rhode Island. Running it to the right side to Jaquan Lewis. Back out top now. Goes to Dowdy. Dowdy, big possession here for VCU. Down five. Two minutes, nine seconds to go. Dowdy's still out in their midcourt. Ten seconds on the shot clock. BCU taking a lot of time trying to figure out this zone here. They get into Mo Ali Cox. Mo Ali Cox goes to the basket, floats it short. Tillman the rebound, back up, no good. Rebound, Cox has a handle on it, but EC comes up with it. EC Matthews has it, 150 to go. Works it up the floor to Doughton. Doughton across the way to Jared Terrell. Had a layup, but uh, had Tillman to contend with. Brings it back out, very wise move. 20 seconds to go on the shot clock. 1.38 to go on the game. Rhode Island leads it by five. They're that close to the Atlantic 10 championship and a ticket to the NCAA tournament. Matthews down low to Hassan Martin. One-on-one -on -one with Tillman. Jump hook. Rattles around and out. Rebound Tillman. Tillman kicks it out to Lewis. Lewis over the timeline. Head of steam. Takes it in the lane. Lays it high off the glass and in. It's a one-possession game. 64-61. It hasn't been that since the very early going. A timeout called by VCU. A mini timeout. We're going to stay right here with you during this timeout. But it is really down to uh, to uh, an exciting time down. A one possession game at 64-61. Last time it was that was what a couple of three minutes into the game, right? Yeah, and uh, you know it's been uh, Jaquan Lewis. He's the guy we said you got to watch out for late in basketball games. And uh, Rhode Island had a seven point lead. Lewis made a couple of foul shots down to a five-point lead, and Lewis just made a very difficult layup now, pushing the ball up uh, court, and uh, down to just uh, three now, and uh, you're going to see VCU come out with that uh, full-court pressure. I think Dan Hurley might want to get Jarvis Garrett back in the game to get an additional ball handler in there right now. VCU trailed Richmond most of the way last night, or yesterday, and then came barreling back to get it into overtime, and then blew him out in overtime. And they're trying to do the same thing here to Rhode Island to chase him down before the finish line. Brody is up by three right now. Dan Hurley and Dave Cox talking about strategy going forward. Rhode Island has already broken the huddle. 118 remaining in the game. Regulation anyway. 64 for Rhode Island, 61 for VCU. Rhode Island has the basketball. Garrett is out there for Doughton. And that's Martin, EC. Garrett Terrell and Karan Iverson. Iverson has the basketball, brings it over the timeline. Iverson's going right to the hoop with it. Stops at the block, brings it all the way back out to Jarvis Garrett. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Rhode Island's going to milk it a little bit. Over to Hassan Martin, gets it to Jarrett Terrell. 13 seconds on the shot clock, one minute to go in the game. Left side of the floor to EC. Got to think EC's going to keep it. In the lane, pushes it up. Oh, 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 oh. And EC Matthews gets it done. Rhode Island 66 61. 52 seconds to go. Lewis in the lane. Down to Dowdy. Puts it up. No good. Batted around. Dowdy again. Blocked to the corner. Jarvis Garrett tries to save it. He does not. It goes out of bounds. It'll be VCU basketball. Great block that time by Karan Iverson. Looked like it was going to be an easy basket uh, by Tillman, and Iverson was able to block it. 43.4 seconds to go. We're now going to hit by five, 66-61. 28 seconds on the shot clock for VCU. Jarvis comes out. EC comes out. Stan Robinson for defensive purposes in. Jeff Dowden, same thing for an Allen. Joining uh, Jared Terrell, Hassan Martin, and Karan Iverson. Down low to Mo Ali Cox. Kicks to the corner to Lewis. Lewis squeezes away from the defense. Gives it to Tillman. Lays it up and in. 36.9 seconds to go. We're now going to head by three. 66-33. So they've been able to do it to keep the game clock ahead of the Shot clock. We get an early whistle and a foul. Yeah, it was a real aggressive foul that time. Uh, you know, by VCU, the foul, you know, was uh, made by Brooks, and he really took a big hack 
at uh, Jared Terrell, but uh, Terrell goes down the other end where he will go to the foul line. That's just the eighth team foul against VCU, so a very important one and one here for Rhode Island and Jared Terrell. Yeah, I don't think that was the game plan for Will Wade because they are uh, four seconds ahead of the shot clock here. Terrell's free throw is good. That gives it a two-possession game, 67-63. There's 34 seconds remaining in the game. The shot clock obviously at 30 for whoever gets the ball next. Terrell, one more free throw. Garrett takes a couple of bounces, takes the shot, and it's good. We're down by five with 34 seconds left. VCU, uh, Dan Hurley's going to call a timeout. Set up the defense, make sure his guys are on the same page. Yeah, he'll, he'll want to get his best defensive uh, players in there. And the one thing you can't do, and uh, Stanford Robinson has a tendency to do it, and that is to commit a foul. You don't want to commit a foul. You just want to stay in front of a person, you know, just bother their shot. But you don't want to send them to the foul line and kill the clock and have them get an opportunity uh, for two shots. But I would think that if you VCU and you will wait, you want to get the ball in the hands of Jaquan Lewis and yeah. just have him just operate, you know, penetrate down the lane. If he gets the shot, fine. If not, dish it off to somebody. Get it to Lewis and get out of his way, right? And uh, yeah. beat it or tip it in if it happens to roll off the rim. I would think you're right. And then they would need a quick foul. Now, keeping Jeff out now, the ball goes in. Let's see, what are the timeout situations here? Uh, where is that on the board? Even? Oh, timeouts left for Allen has one, VCU has one. Because uh, you don't want Jeff out there when they have the opportunity to foul him. Right side, Williams with the ball. Over to Lewis. Lewis shoots for three, stripped of the basketball. Stan Robinson comes up with it, calls for the timeout. But Allen has one left, and that's going to be great. 25.7 seconds remain. Rhode Island has the basketball, and they have a five-point lead. Yeah, that's, that was tough uh, trying to hand the ball off uh, to Jaquan Lewis, and Stanford Robinson got his hand in there, deflected the basketball. Ball went on the floor. Robinson didn't think twice. He just dove on that thing like it was a fumble in a football game, and he gathered the ball in and immediately called the timeout before it could get tied up by a VCU player. You know, that's the, the, the job of the assistant coaches coming out of that last timeout to say, hey, we have one if you need it. We have one if you need it. We saw last night. Uh, Coach Mooney from Richmond called a timeout when they didn't have any technical and a technical foul. foul late in the game. So this is uh, the assistant coaches doing their job. Stan Robinson was aware of the foul situ of the timeout situation that Rhode Island had won. Yeah, right now the coaching staff of Rhode Island is still trying to, you know, figure out what they're going to do. They haven't addressed the uh, players yet. It's a full timeout, so there is uh, quite a bit of time here. I think you'll see Doughton out of the game, Don, right, because of his, his uh, foul shooting trouble. Well, the best foul shooter has been Jarvis Garrett, so I think you want to get him back in the game. And here he comes, Stevie. Jarvis <laughs> Garrett coming to the game. He'll come in for uh, Jeff Doughton and give Rhode Island, you know, an opportunity. And, uh, Shot looks clock like, is off. Looks like game Hassan, clock's at 25.7 seconds. Yeah, Hassan Martin's out of the game as uh, well as it looks like uh, Rhode Island's going to go with uh, nothing but ball handlers out there. Yeah, Hassan, while his numbers from the free throw line are greatly improved, he's 68% for the year, he has struggled. He was 0 for 1 against Davidson, 3 of 5 against St. Bonaventure, and then uh, today for Hassan from the free throw line, he's 0 for 1, so you, you want to, uh, or act actually 1 of 2. I think your best guys out there, and like you said, your best ball handlers out there, and Bring this thing on home. The shot clock is off. The game clock's at 25.7. Well, Jeff Doughton is in the game, but he'll be taking the ball out of bounds. Okay, yeah. So you get the Stanford Robinson, Terrell, Jarvis Garrett, and E.C. Matthews in the game. Some pretty good foul shooters for Rhode Island. All right, Jeff will take it out along the scorer's table uh, just on the uh, backcourt side of the midcourt line. Trying to look for somebody to get in. They have no timeouts left. He gets it into Jared Terrell. Terrell in the backcourt forward. Allen moves it over the midcourt line to E.C. Matthews. Matthews going to hold it there and get fouled. E.C. Matthews, who has uh, been a machine for Rhode Island, going to move his way to the free throw line and try to ice this basketball game. 19.5 seconds remaining. Rhode Island 68. VCU 63. Matthews is one of two from the free throw line today. E.C. was five of five yesterday and eight of eight in the St. Bonaventure game. It's a one and one for him. And it's going to be the ninth team foul on VCU. Rhode Island did a great job against the pressure that time and the press and, uh, you know, moving the basketball before anyone could come over and, uh, you know, commit the foul. So it was a good six seconds taken off of the clock while Rhode Island, uh, you know, did a good job moving the basketball around. But Matthews goes to the foul line. 
makes the first, makes it a six-point lead. In the Two possession game right now. This one would ice it for Rhode Island with 19.5 seconds to go. EC Matthews measures, shoots, and hits. Seven point lead for Rhode Island with 19.5 seconds remaining. The Rhode Island Rams are on the doorstep of the Atlantic 10 Championships. About to win their second title in the history of the franchise in the tournament. Left side Lewis fires up a three. That doesn't go. Tillman the rebound. Kicks it back out to Lewis. Lewis guarded by Dowden. Shoots again. No good. Seven seconds remaining. Karan Iverson clears it. Iverson gets away from the defense. Dribbles into the forecourt. Iverson going up. He dunks it home as the buzzer sounds. And Rowdy, the 8-10 champs. Well, uh, it's been a long, long time. And uh, we didn't win it on a desperation uh, three-point shot by Lamar Odom. We won this game by playing 40 minutes of great, great basketball. So everybody out on the court, gathering around, hugging each other. And, uh, you know, this is just in a signature win for Rhode Island. And quite honestly, Steve, uh, the loss to Fordham at home, the loss to LaSalle at home, a lot of people gave up on these kids. But uh, these kids have played very, very hard. And they deserve the trip to the NCAA. We don't have to worry about anything now. We can uh, just go home and wait for the assignment. Jared Terrell and Jarvis Garrett in an embrace. They fell to the floor, hugging each other. A couple of juniors for Rhode Island who uh, are best of friends and are celebrating what was a long season for Rhode Island with many ups and downs. But it ends on the most up moment you can imagine. An Atlantic 10 championship. And by no stretch of the imagination does it end tonight. There is a lot of basketball to be played for the University of Rhode Island. They'll wait for the word from the NCAA Selection Committee. Now it's not, are we in? Now it is, where are we going? And it'll be a Thursday or Friday game. No Dayton first four for URI. It's an automatic qualifier, and they are in the NCAA tournament. And they've won the Atlantic 10 tournament for the second time, winning it back in 1999 when Lamar Odom hit a big shot. And winning it here, mostly with defense, but some great shooting as well. E.C. Matthews clearly leading the way, clearly the most outstanding player in this tournament. And Rhode Island gets the victory on a thunderous dunk by Karan Iverson for emphasis to make the final score 70 to 63. He got that as the buzzer sounded, and then the celebration began. Well, you know, he, he got fouled in the back court, and uh, nothing was called, so he rightfully so just kept on dribbling down court. Rather than wait for the next guy to come in, Clavia, he just went in for the layup and uh, jammed it home. So, you know, Thor Bjorn out on the uh, court, very, very happy as he has, you know, really been uh, gut-wrenching some of these games uh, for Thor. But uh, he has to be uh, very elated with these uh, three wins by Rhode Island. You know, Bonaventure, Davidson, and this game uh, right here against a very, very good VCU team. Well, I'll tell you, Don, back on February 15th, Rhode Island lost to Fordham 53-43. And many of us felt like that loss was going to signify the end of it for URI as far as NCAA hopes. They went on to win at George Mason, win at LaSalle, win at home against VCU, on the road again to win at St. Joe's, home to Davidson, the overtime win, off to the tournament to beat St. Bonaventure, Next to beat Davidson and today to beat VCU, a top 25 RPI team, which helps the seeding for Rhode Island as well. They, uh, after the Fordham game, Dan Hurley said it's gut check time. It's time for us to decide where we want to go and how we want to get there. And they haven't lost since. Yeah, I think it was the two games, Steve, both at home. The LaSalle game was an embarrassing loss. The Fordham game was an even a more embarrassing loss. And, uh, you know, Dan said it's gut check time. You guys got to figure out what you want to do. And uh, they really dedicated the whole season uh, to those two seniors. You know, they wanted Hassan Martin to go out on top. They wanted Karan to go out on top. And they certainly uh, did here today. So, you know, the Rhode Island contingent that came down here, and it's a long trip to Pittsburgh. But uh, give them a lot of credit. Uh, they were in the game, and they were outnumbered probably 9-1 to one by the VCU uh, fans. But the Rhode Island fans hung in there and uh, didn't give the VCU fans much to cheer about as uh, VCU never, ever led. Coach, sharing an emotional moment with your teammates. What are you telling these guys? You know what? We've been through so much, you know, the last two years. You know, with this guy going down last year. First game of the season with the ACL. Hassan Martin. Paired his knee up later in the year and the same stuff. The same stuff. We're going to dance. Forget all that. I love the enthusiasm. When you saw you're standing in the 
sideline, you saw EC after everything he's been through, knock down those two free throws to really solidify this thing. What do you want to tell him? Well, you know, it's just, we've got a bond, me and this guy. You know, we uh, I sat in his living room a couple years ago with, with him and his uh, mom, Regina, and I made some promises, and uh, I was able to keep him with this guy. He's an amazing player. EC, he promised. He promised you to get a chance to go dancing. Now you're dancing for real. Now that it's a reality, what's going through your mind, and what do you want to share with man, these teammates? I don't, I don't believe it right now. This, this is the dream, man. Somebody pinch me, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I'm speechless. When they brought it into a one-possession game, and this team really had to rally around each other and come through, what were you telling each other? We've been through this the whole season, the ups and downs. I mean, we just reflect on that. We just reflect on that. Coach is telling us we're going to win this game no matter what, just to relax. Yes, we did. What do you want people, as you go into the NCAA tournament, to know about this basketball team? We just leave it out there on the court, man. We fight every possession. We're a family. We believe in each other. That's all I can really say. We can play whoever. Thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way. Mama, I love you.